All right, in this video, we're going to use Python Pandas to analyze the Superstore dataset. I have the Anaconda Navigator open here. I'm gonna go ahead and launch the Jupyter Notebook. Great, so we got Jupyter Notebook open. The first thing I'm going to do is click on New and click on Python 3. This, go, this opens a new notebook and we're going to go ahead and title this Superstore Data, okay? Now, before we can leverage libraries from Python, we need to first import them. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to import NumPy as NP and import pandas as PD. When I hold shift and click enter, that runs that code. So the next thing we're going to do is get we're going to get the data read into pandas and we're going to do that by clicking typing df, which is going to be our data frame, equals pd.read. Now, when we click tab after we write some line of code, what it does is it, it helps us auto-complete. It tells us, do you want to read a table? Do you want to read a SQL query? Do you want to read a CSV? In our case, we're going to read an Excel. So I'm going to click on Excel and it finishes that line item for us. We're going to go ahead and type in r and then we're going to look for our file. So when I look for Superstore and I look for that for that data set, let's see, I think this one, we can right we can right click and click on copy the full path. What it does is we can now paste that path and it, it just saves us some time in, in identifying where that path is. Another apostrophe here and then we'll do a comma sheet underscore name and the tab we're looking at here is orders so we're going to type in orders I'm going to go ahead and shift enter run that line of code now we've got DF in there we can do a lot of things so let's go ahead and start with something called a DF head which basically when we run that code gives us the top five rows of data in our data set we can do DF dot tail that gives us the last five from the bottom of the data set. Now, interestingly, DF sample lets us choose the number of rows. So let's say we want two rows of data and we want them to be random. These are two random rows of data right here. The other thing I want to show you is df.info. When we run that, it gives us some information about this data frame, number of entries, uh, number of columns. So that's really helpful. And then the last thing I'll talk about is df.describe. That basically describes the data set. It tells us the count, the mean, the standard deviation, the maximum, and so forth. Now, the interesting thing is when we click df. Dot and click tab, it tells us all of the cool things that we can use this data frame for. Lots and lots of functions, which I won't cover here, but I covered a couple of them, and I hope this has been useful. For more content around programming in Python, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel, which is Story by Data, or you can also follow the hashtag DedicatedPython.